Hello everyone, in this video, let us create uh, a Jira software and a Jira service desk kind of a project on uh, Jira cloud. So in the previous video, we used and we signed up for uh, Jira software and Jira service desk. And now we are using uh, the free version of uh, Jira cloud. And I just want to create a project very quickly using uh, Jira software as well as Jira service desk. And I want to do a quick comparison of uh, how these projects uh, are different. Uh, I'm sure the workflows, the schemes will be different and I just want to quickly do a comparison. And uh, let us quickly create uh, a project. And on top, uh, you have the option to create a classic project and uh, try our next gen project. We have uh, made one video about uh, next gen project, which I which actually I uh, did last year and I'll probably create uh, a new version of the same video. I'll take a look at uh, new things, new features that we have in the in the next gen project on cloud. So for the time being, let us uh, just focus on the classic project. So the first thing that we need to do is of course, uh, use the project name and uh, the key will be generated. And I want to basically take a look at the template. Now, if I create uh, if I use the Jira software, I have three templates. I have uh, Kanban, Scrum and bug tracking. Let us do it uh, very quickly. Let us create a project using all three of these uh, templates. So I'll first use uh, Kanban. So this is my uh, Kanban uh, project and I can see a key here. I'll click on the create button. And uh, while uh, I have my Kanban project uh, uh, created, I will probably uh, okay, so we, we are we are taken directly to the board, but I first want to create a project using uh, also the scrum and bug tracking uh, template. So what I can do, I can probably open this uh, in a new window and uh, I'll uh, create a project uh, using the same uh, method. I'll go to the uh, create project button on top right and uh, I will uh, use a different template. So let us just do it uh, very quickly. It's a bit slow. Maybe the maybe it's a problem with the internet or maybe it's uh, Jira cloud. Uh, but now we have it uh, available. So let me just uh, change the template. Use Scrum. I'll type here Scrum and I'll create a project. So the moment I create a project, I believe I will be taken to uh, the to the Scrum board or the backlog view of the Scrum based uh, project which we'll uh, look at later on. We just want to do a comparison of uh, these uh, templates, these uh, different uh, templates that come with Jira software and uh, Jira service desk. So the last thing that I want to do is I want to create uh, a project using a bug tracking template. I'll type here my project name as bug tracking and I will uh, click on the button I'll press the button create. Now let me also create uh, a project using a Jira service desk template. And uh, if I go to the create project again, I should have, uh, I, sh I first need to select a different category, which is uh, now Jira service desk. I'm just waiting for it to load. Uh, this is a usual problem with the cloud. It can be a bit slow sometimes. Although I'm using a good connection, but uh, you're using cloud and uh, I'm using a free version of the cloud. So I guess uh, uh, it is not the most fastest uh, experience, but it is still uh, manageable. So I'll, ch I'll select my service desk template. And by the way, we have uh, created one uh, video where we uh, looked at different templates of uh, business uh, based uh, projects. So if, if I look at uh, service desk template, I have a lot of uh, templates and uh, I may want to uh, create a separate video on uh, service desk templates. Maybe we'll do it uh, in the next video. But for the time being, I'll just quickly use uh, service desk. Uh, the name of my template is IT service desk. And uh, I'll, I'll uh, make a separate video on uh, the other templates because these templates will help you in uh, getting started with uh, Jira very quickly. And I think it is always good to have uh, these templates uh, to, to make, basically make your life easy to have this experience of Jira without doing any configuration. Just use a template and 
start using uh, using uh, Jira. So let us, uh, while this uh, Jira service test project is uh, getting created, I'll probably go to my Kanban board. So the moment I take a look at uh, this project, the first thing is uh, uh, the Kanban board, of course, but uh, we don't really have any backlog kind of a thing. Uh, but I may want to create some issues. So let me just uh, create a couple of issues and uh, let us see. So this is my task one. I'll create maybe one more maybe task two and task three. So I'll create a couple of tasks. And uh, if I look at the issue types, so I do have, uh, I'm using a different uh, template. Uh, I'm using a wrong template. So I need to select Kanban. So if I, do, if I take a look at the Kanban project, I have task, story, bug, and epic. So this is interesting. You can still use stories, but uh, you will be using Kanban based uh, project. And when you're using Kanban, you don't really have the concept of sprints, I believe, on cloud. Uh, that is the case on server, but I'm just, you know, uh, trying to understand how it is different on the cloud. Uh, so let me create a couple of stories. So I'll create story one, maybe story two. And uh, while I'm creating these uh, stories, I just want to take a look at my fields. So I have component, I have description, reporter, links, assignee, and we do have this epic link. We don't really have any epics, at least in this project. So we'll probably ignore it. I'll probably I'll, I'll probably create maybe one more story. So this is my story three, and I think uh, this is enough. So we'll ha we'll have few stories to work on. So I think when you when you create more stories, you will be uh, able to take a look at or any activities or any issues that you have in your Kanban based project. Uh, that of course is uh, defined in your issue type scheme. Uh, so you have your stories, you can move move it to different columns. And I believe you should be able to also configure the board, which is fine. We'll probably uh, spend more time in a separate video. We'll uh, take a look at Kanban board configurations. But I want to also take a look at the uh, project settings. That is really important uh, to just do a quick comp comparison. So we don't really have uh, the agile uh, sprint features. If I open my scrum based project, I have a backlog view, which is uh, a bit different. You can have your backlog view where you can have uh, different uh, stories or different activities that you want to plan. Um, and of course, uh, this will be owned by your pr product owner or maybe your business analyst because they usually own the backlog. They have the requirements. And when you have your backlog defined, you can uh, do backlog grooming. We made one video on uh, uh, agile fundamentals where we talked about different roles and we have covered these things in that video. So you can take a look at that video if you want. So we, we have our backlog view and you can create a sprint. When you create a sprint, you have the option to drag uh, uh, the, the sprint container to add more stories to it. Uh, we'll probably create a separate video again on the Scrum part uh, separately, but I'm just doing a quick uh, comparison. So if I compare this uh, Scrum based project with my, uh, with my Kanban based project, uh, the main difference is that you don't really have any uh, backlog view, which is a, a, a completely different uh, view. You have the option to also add epics and versions, and you also have the option to take a look at the active sprints. Your active sprints will uh, start showing you information when you start working on the sprints. Right now we have a sprint which is probably planned, but we, do, we don't really have stories that are estimated. So this is, of course, one difference. Uh, you don't have any concept of uh, sprints in your uh, Kanban and you just have a board. So Kanban is suitable for visualizing the work that you're doing and uh, you can definitely use Kanban if you uh, just want to focus on uh, how much work you're doing and uh, what is the overall uh, workload of your team. Because when you look at these uh, columns, you can easily see that uh, you have maybe five issues that are in backlog, but two of them are selected for development and uh, some of them are in progress and how many of them are done. So when you have your issues in done, you can then uh, release it uh, as a new version. So let us say if you're using Kanban based project for uh, just doing some activities on ad hoc basis, you can keep on releasing them every week or every month. So this is, uh, of course, uh, the main difference between Scrum and Kanban. Also, let us take a look at the bug tracking project. And uh, when you take a look at the bug tracking project, uh, you don't really have any board that comes out of the, out of the box with your bug tracking template. We just have the list of issues. But I just I also want to do a quick comparison of the uh, schemes and the uh, 
workflows and issue types. So if you take a look at your Kanban-based projects, uh, initially we, we, we were able to take a look at uh, stories when we were creating the issues. So if you click on issue types, you have story, bug, epic, and task. I believe the Scrum-based uh, project also has something similar. So I'll probably open all three of them. I'll go to project settings and I'll uh, uh, go to the issue types. So let us take a look at uh, the issue types in all three of the of the projects of the of the software templates that we are using that comes uh, out of the box with the Jira software application that we subscribe to without paying anything. So uh, because we are using a free version of uh, Jira on cloud. So I'm looking at the bug template uh, and I'm looking at the issue type scheme. Right now we have bug, epic, improvement, new feature, task, and subtask. Scrum-based project, uh, they come with story, bug, epic, task, subtask, but there is no uh, new feature and improvement, which is fine. You can always add issue types to your uh, template. So you also have the option. Kanban is also similar to your Scrum. Let us take a look at the workflows, and I think that is uh, probably enough for doing a, doing a comparison. You may have, of course, a few fields different. Like, for example, in Scrum-based projects, you will definitely have a story point estimation uh, so it's a field that you can use but uh, let us not go too much into the details i just want to focus on the workflow and the issue types because that will really give you a very clear indication of uh, the differences apart from the difference of uh, having agile uh, or having uh, sprints and a separate backlog view for your scrum based project so in my Kanban based project, I have a backlog selected for development in progress and done. And these statuses are uh, nothing but different columns. You can always modify, but I'm you know just looking at the default uh, workflow. Let us take a look at the Scrum workflow as well. Uh, the workflow that comes with the Scrum based uh, project. And um, I guess it is a bit similar. I'll probably open the bug tracking uh, workflow as well. So if I wait for the Scrum project to load the workflow scheme, I can see here that uh, we have one uh, workflow called Software Simplified Workflow for Project Scrum. We have three states, which is fine. If I go back to my bug workflow, it is again a bit similar, but uh, I think these workflows are slightly different from each other, but more or less, they will let you manage a simple project. If you think uh, you want to use Jira for uh, just uh, managing your work and you want to do it in a better way and since you you have the cloud version which is now free I don't see any reason why you can't use uh, Jira now because it is free you should you should basically start at least looking at it because you have 10 users so I think it is really good for a small team or maybe if you are maybe a couple of developers who are trying to do something maybe you have a startup I think Jira is now free so why not use it and it's a great tool so let us also take a look at uh, the Jira service test based project. We'll probably spend more time on service test based, uh, service test based projects uh, separately in different videos. But uh, I just want to do a quick comparison since we are looking at different templates. So why not also look at the issue types and uh, the workflow. Uh, when, you, when you talk about Jira service test, it has the concept of request type. So request types are basically your issue types that are shown to your customers on the customer portal. So if you take a look at your issue types, if you click on the issue types on the uh, left hand side, when you go to the project settings, you will be able to take a look at uh, different uh, issue types like change, incident, problem, service request, service request with approval, task and subtask. So, so you have uh, Jira service test that can actually be used for uh, ITSM based processes like change management, incident management, problem management and so on. Uh, but if you look at the request types, request types can be a bit different. Although, as I mentioned before, request types are displayed on the portal, your customer portal, where your customers will come and they raise the tickets, but they are actually mapped to the issue types in the project. So your request type can have names like get IT help, as you can see on the screen, but it is mapped to the service request. Uh, for example, you let, let us say you report a problem. So as a customer, you will see report a system problem, but internally it will be an incident. So this is how the uh, the mapping work, and you can of course uh, do configurations here. You can have your own request type. Uh, let us quickly take a look at the workflows, which I believe uh, 
uh, will be a bit difficult to cover in this video because uh, there will be, I'm sure, not just one workflow. Uh, just like, I mean, if you look at the service, if you if you look at the so software-based projects, you have just one workflow. But if you look at uh, your Jira service test project, you have one, two, three, four, five, six workflows and these workflows are different for different processes like change management can have different workflow if you look at the diagram uh, and i believe it will not be that simple so it's a bit complicated it, ha it has like different statuses and it, it has uh, different uh, transitions like uh, you first receive the ticket and then someone will approve it then you will probably send it for approval if you think approval is required and so on. Similarly, for incident management, you have a different workflow. So I think uh, covering these uh, Jira service desk uh, workflows uh, requires a separate uh, set of videos, which we will do. I promise we'll create more videos on uh, this topic, but I just wanted to show you very quickly the differences of uh, these templates. So I believe uh, so far we have covered uh, all the templates that comes out of the box with uh, Jira on cloud uh, where we covered all the temp all the templates uh, that comes with business based projects uh, today we looked at uh, jira software based templates and in future videos we'll also uh, take a look at the remaining jira service desk based templates so this is all i uh, wanted to share in this video i hope you uh, learned and you enjoyed watching this video thank you very much